Hello, I'm Dr. Rima and I'm absolutely delighted that you're here with me because I want to talk about something really important. Pregnant women and women in their reproductive years are very commonly given SSRIs. Those are serotonin reuptake inhibitors and they're supposed to be perfectly safe antidepressants. They're not safe. They're not safe if you're not pregnant and they're especially dangerous if you are pregnant or if you could become pregnant. You see, drugs like citalopram or Celexa, which are handed out like candy by uh, conventional physicians, are incredibly damaging to the baby. Every part of the baby is growing rapidly and any change in the chemical structure of its environment in the mother's womb can lead to serious consequences. In the case of SSRIs, those consequences can be fatal. Let's start with the central nervous system. The baby's neural tube can be so badly damaged that the brain never develops. That condition is called anencephaly, and it is 100% fatal. So a baby that's otherwise healthy is born, the brain has not developed, and the family has a tragedy that could have been avoided if the SSRI had been avoided. Now, sometimes the heart is damaged in the baby, and when it's born, it develops a condition called persistent pulmonary hypertension of the newborn in which the heart fails to make the adjustment that's necessary to go from a water environment to an air breathing environment. Birth defects of the heart from Celexa and other SSRIs are very serious and they can cause damage that doesn't even show up immediately at birth, including something called Schoen's complex, which is for very serious heart defects that are only diagnosed later. Schoen's complex occurs in women who have taken SSRIs during pregnancy much more frequently than in women who have never taken these drugs. Often, sadly, the baby dies. Sometimes a heart transplant is necessary. What a terrible way to start life. There are other birth defects too that SSRIs can precipitate. The esophagus, the entire gastrointestinal tract, the abdominal organs, and the anus are all potentially affected by these drugs. Babies whose mothers take SSRIs are more likely to have cleft palate, cleft lip, club foot, limb abnormalities, spinal bifida, a very serious condition, autism, and other conditions which are tragic when they occur and can be avoided most of the time if the mothers don't have environmental toxins and drugs in their bodies. So, there are natural methods to treat depression, to treat all of the psychiatric conditions for which SSRIs are given. They're safe, they're gentle, they work, and they don't harm the baby that's growing in the mother's uterus. So, for the sake of your baby, and for the sake of your body, I urge you if you're considering taking a psychiatric medication of any type, especially an SSRI, look into the other natural alternatives. They're the ones that will enhance the quality of your life and will actually help you heal. The SSRIs and the other psychiatric drugs will do no such thing. Thank you.